The Kubo Baby Monitor is one of the newest additions to the Wi-Fi baby monitor genre, and it's definitely a powerhouse. Baby monitors like the Owlet, the Nanit Plus, and Miku monitor breathing and other vitals, and when something is amiss, the alarm bells go off. Maybe I'm not that far off with my analogy. All right, so before we take a look at the different types of alerts, let's first take a look at what's under the wing and talk about what kind of specs the Kubo has. So the video feed has a 1080p HD resolution uh, and apparently even when in night vision mode. It also comes with a four time digital zoom and a 135 degree wide angle field of view. You can also manually tilt the camera up and down. So uh, that adds to the coverage that the Kubo has of your baby's nursery. Another really nice feature that the Kubo AI has is the lack of visible red light when the night vision mode is on. On top of all that, it comes with some fairly standard specs like temperature and humidity display, two way audio, continuous audio monitoring, a built in night light and an 18 hour playback option. Okay, so let's take a look at the alert options the Kubo has to offer. So again, the Kubo takes a different approach to monitoring your baby and alerting you of potentially dangerous situations your baby may get into. Unlike other breathing monitoring baby monitors, which I, I need to stress here that this monitor is not, the Kubo takes a proactive approach to alerting you when your baby ends up in situations that may lead her to not being able to breathe. So this proactive approach allows you the opportunity to do something before it's too late. So the first alert that you can set is the covered face detection alert. When activated, the Kubo will detect when an object is covering your baby's face which can potentially restrict airflow and increase the chances of suffocation. However, according to the American Academy of Pediatrics, there should be absolutely nothing in your baby's crib except your baby. So this alert theoretically should not be needed until your baby is around an age where having a blanket or a stuffed animal is acceptable to have in her crib. I wanna stress here that I'm not dad explaining or mansplaining any of this. This is the uh, recommendation of the AAP, which literally wrote the book on how to keep your baby alive up through the first five years. So I'm taking their word for it. The next alert is the danger zone detection alert, which is great for babies as they get older and more daring. After you set the danger zone area within the app, the alert will be triggered as soon as your baby enters said danger zone. The only thing that would make this alert better is if Kubo had the rights to Kenny Loggins highway to the danger zone. And every time your baby was in there, that song would start playing. And then you'd put on your aviator shades, put on your leather bomber jacket, hop on your Kiyosaki, zoom into your baby's room, grab her before she does something dangerous and save the day. That would be awesome.